So we have great pleasure this morning to welcome at the house of uh, Professor Dr. Debu Chaudhry here in New Delhi, uh, Chitarambam Park, uh, to meet again and asking him about the spirituality, the role of spirituality of India. Well, in Indian terminology, spirituality, the word, has a much, much wider connotation. And the basic principle is that you try to attain a height which is beyond this world and at the same time you uh, achieve salvation. We call it moksha, M-O-K-S-H-A. Moksha means you have to come out of this life and go beyond and as a matter of practice what you do, we practice yoga, we pray, we play music. There are various ways to reach that height. And when you are, you are in that height, you feel you are a much more happier man, a free man. You're not bothered about any problems of the modern world. Today, in the modern world, spiritualism is required in order to have more uh, peace of mind. We are in a society as a human being, we are surrounded by many problems. We, uh, so time comes, of course, we talk of spirituality, anyway, you reach a certain age. We don't talk of spirituality at the age of, say, nine or ten. But at the age of 50, 55, 60, then you look for something beyond. Now some people look for God. What is God? We don't see God. Now, if you take my case, I see God through my music. My music is my spirituality. When I perform, I go on a different world where I find that uh, I am not a person of this uh, world. So, spirituality helps a human being to attain certain height for which we'll have to practice. One has to practice for spirituality. A spirituality doesn't come automatically, but those who are blessed, to them it may come automatically. We have uh, examples of Lord Ramakrishna. He automatically was uh, so uh, spiritual that from his beginning of his life uh, they knew that he, here is a man who is become uh, going to going to be a saint. The spirituality is necessary not to make you uh, become uh, a saint. You remain in the world, you remain in the society, you remain in the family, but remaining, that's my principle, in the family, you want to uplift yourself from the problems, day-to-day -day problems, by which you can attain a height, that height where you, you try to be united with the super uh, power spiritual. So, uh, I feel strongly spiritualism is a thing which one has to pray, worship, meditate, and practice to acquire. And once you acquire the spiritualism, then you are a different human being. In every walk of your life, in every sphere of your life, you see that spiritual uh, 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 action will make you a perfect human being. I mean, you can 
Spirituality can bring peace in your mind. It can bring happiness in your mind. It can give you satisfaction in your mind. So, to reach the salvation, moksha, moksha love we call it, we have to attain that spirit so that we are away from all these day-to-day -day problems and have peace of mind. Uh, there is another question I would like to ask you about. Yes. In India, you are very, very uh, rich in the family life, and I am very happy to, to see that even your family is increase, increasing, enlarging. I think the problem of the Western world is that families are no longer ex existing. How do you feel this point? Well, uh, you have a great example. You know my family. My son, he has got married. He has a daughter. He has not left me. Yeah. What is this spirituality? Social bondage. What is that bondage? That we believe in living together. And then together we win. And we win the peace and also a kind of life where we share the day-to-day uh, -day, uh, problems. We may be sad, we can share with our children. We may be happy, we love to share. So sharing is a principle of Indian philosophy where we feel that we should be all together. My son could have been um, separated, left uh, separately, uh, studied separately, but he felt I also wanted him. But in the Western world, it's quite different. This philosophy, this principle will be accepted in the Western world. A day will come. I remember when I went out of India to perform, it was in 1966, 30, 40 years ago. There are people, younger generation, away from the family, staying alone. Now I find them, they're all together. Why? Because you need, at a moment of life, you have your wife, a beautiful wife, beautiful family, and your son is a beautiful son. But why they're together? Because you have, been, you have seen the Indian culture. Indian ethos, Indian spirit, and the spirituality, what tells you, even I'll give an example. Veda is the oldest knowledge of the India has given to the world. If you chant the Vedic ma mantras singularly, you have one effect. If 20 people chant the same mantras, Power. oh, it's, you have a, a spiritual effect. I can feel my feeling. If 100 people chant 